Welcome to the L.A. Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Thank you so much. Hey, people, this is Stevie for the L.A. Story, and we are talking to someone incredibly special today. We are talking to Daphna Edward Simon, who is a filmmaker. She's the founder of a music label. She's a philanthropist. But more importantly, she's just come out with her debut novel called The Gray Zone, which actually builds on something that she personally has been involved in, which is foster children and that whole system. And so good morning to you, Daphna. Good morning, Stevie. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm great, and I'm so happy to be on your show. Thank you so much. Your debut novel, The Gray Zone, talks about the child welfare system, and there's been so much in the local news about children who have gotten lost in the system. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned that because the whole reason that I wrote the book is one, to carry a, um, my readers on a journey that was enticing and thrilling, but the other side of it was to really open the eyes of people to what's going on in the system and how much these children need our help. Um, my book is about a girl named Kelly Jensen whose mother is murdered when she's six years old and the father is wrongfully convicted for the murder of the mother. And therefore, she's taken from her home for no fault of her own into a system that exposes her into abuse, neglect, and sex trafficking. And she becomes a runaway because she's resilient and she wants to survive. And as a runaway, she learns how to be a chameleon and tap into people's most vulnerable spots so that she can maneuver. Eventually, she meets a man who actually uses her as a sex slave, and she escapes with two children that she has with him. And her whole purpose is to topple him because she knows that he's connected to a sex trafficking um, chain. And so she meets a defense attorney named Jake Brooks, who I actually modeled after a very famous defense attorney named Danny Davis, who's a media litigator and brilliant. And together, they confront the justice system, the political system, and corporate America. And they win in the gray zone, which is why I named my novel The Gray Zone with an A. And they win by using their gray matter. And the whole purpose of me choosing them is to show how he, as a defense attorney, came into the law with great idealism and has been disappointed by the justice system showing injustice. And her having to turn to crime because she's never been given a chance to be educated or to have more, more privileges like our children do. And yet she's so smart and so resilient that she is able to utilize the crime world to topple this man who used her as a sex slave. Now, what's really interesting is that you've been personally involved in foster, the foster children system, founding the Children Uniting Nations right. and, the family, and involved in pass, lobbying for the Family Preservation Act. And given what's going on, I mean, for me, this is a very powerful book, and it's a very powerful situation to be able to even talk to you about this because people don't think about what happens when somebody goes into foster care and that whether they'll survive or not. And to have someone like yourself who, is a, who can be an advocate, who is a voice that people will listen to. Well, yes, you're right, Stevie, because... The truth is, this has been sort of like a real hidden secret. $91 billion a year goes into the system, and everybody in this children's life is paid to be there. You know, that's why I've been heading Children Uniting Nations, 
because my idea was, and actually Hillary Clinton's idea, and Senator Mary Landrieu, and um, Nancy Pelosi, Speaker Pelosi, and uh, Congresswoman Karen Bass, all of them are involved with me to create legislations to start changing the reality and to start bringing in mentors who are not paid to be there to be the only constant in these children's lives and help them learn life skills, help educate them, help teach them occupations, which is not being done. And by having caring adults introduced into their lives, we actually save their lives. Yes, because it gives them someone dependable that they can go to to say this is what's wrong or this is what's right or help direct me. Absolutely. I mean, you and I both know that the greatest miracle of life is when a child is born. I mean, we gasp at creation and we wait for the child's eyes to open because in those child's eyes we see the hope of the world. There's nothing more devastating than looking into those very eyes and seeing hopelessness. That's true. So that's why I wanted to write this book. And I'm so excited because I just won Best New Author for Fiction. And, you know, I've gotten this great, thank you. And I've gotten these great reviews that mean that people actually enjoy reading the book and it's a great read because that helps me also open people's eyes to what the realities are without hitting them over the head with it. Right. It's, it's not necessarily, while it's fiction, it's also based on real life. Absolutely. And so I am so excited. That's why I'm so excited to be on your show, because every time I speak, it allows me to get people to go on the sites, to go on childrenunitingnations.org, or to buy a book from Amazon.com, because proceeds from the book sales are going to help those very children. But also, to get people aware that there are legislations, that there are politicians that are fighting for these children, and we all can help by supporting those that are fighting for those children who don't raise money and don't vote. So therefore, they are often forgotten. That's right. And it's unfortunate. And it's, in fact, more than unfortunate, it's criminal. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at the statistics, and you see that 78.8% of all inmates in penitentiary come from the child welfare system, you say to yourself, what are we? Who are we as Americans? Are we breeding criminals, or should we not focus on helping raise other people's children and give them the opportunities to become contributing citizens that we are proud of? That's true. People... We could ha continue this conversation with Daphne Edward Simon for a very long time, and actually I would like to do that at another time. You need to go find this book. Find it on Amazon.com. Go visit ChildrenUnitingNations.org. Read about it. We Daphne, thank you so much for your time today. This is such an important thing, and I'm so glad about your book. And to me, it's just really incredible, and I'm very glad to have talked to you today. Thank you for helping because it takes you to help me get other people involved. You got my support. People, Thank you. go visit the website. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on LA Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now, www.la-story.com.